Yeah, hello everyone. Now we will see how to find left diagonal and right diagonal of any specific element. For suppose in my example, I am taking this specific element as 10. Now uh, we will see how to find the left diagonal and right diagonal of the specific element. Uh, in this case, the left diagonal elements are 5, 10 and 15 and right diagonal elements are 4, 7, 10 and 13. To understand the logic of left diagonal and right diagonal, we need to see the indexes once. And uh, these are nothing but the indexes of these particular elements. Zero, uh, the left side, zero defines the row number and right side defines the column number. And the lo main logic is, uh, for suppose our target element is 10. So I'm selecting the indexes of this particular element to one. And the main logic is to, uh, to identify the left diagonal. All the elements of the left diagonal have the same difference. And in this case, the target element is 21. Uh, the difference of indexes will be 2 minus 1, which is nothing but 1. So all the elements of the left diagonal are having the same differences. 1 minus 0, 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. In the same way, uh, to identify the right diagonal. The sum of indexes will be same. Like 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 0. 1 plus 2, 3, 0 plus 3, 3. And this is the logic. By this logic, we can identify the left diagonal elements and right diagonal elements. Uh, for this, what we need to do is initially, uh, uh, we need to find indexes of the target element. For suppose our target element is 10. First, we will verify the indexes of this target element. Then, by saving that indexes, we will uh, collect the left diagonal elements in one string and right diagonal elements in another string. Now we will see how to do it in JavaScript. For suppose my target element is 10. So I will verify whether my 10 exists in this matrix. So for accessing, for verifying all the elements, I will run two for loops. The first for loop will be running from 0 to the number of rows. And second for loop will be running from 0 to the columns, number of columns. Now I will verify whether uh, my target element is equal to any of the elements inside the matrix. If my target element is equal to any of the element, then I will conduct the indexes. First, for collecting the indexes, I will take let A to collect the row number and B to collect the column number. And after collecting the element, like after finding the index of this particular element, no need of verifying the remaining elements as I found that element inside the matrix. So I will break the loop. Okay. Uh, for finding the left diagonal and right diagonals, I am finding the differences of the indexes and at the same time, I'm also finding the sum of the indexes. And for collecting the elements, I am taking two empty strings. L back for collecting the left diagonal elements. R back for collecting the right diagonal elements. And again, I will run the for loop and I will verify all the elements and collecting the respective backs based on the differences and sum of the indexes. If difference is equal to i minus j, it is nothing but the difference is equal to the difference of the indexes. It means it belongs to left diagonal element. So I am connecting it in left to back. And in the same way, if some equal to I am collecting it to the right back so it belongs to 
right diagonal elements. Now I am printing the elements of the left diagonal and right diagonal. And somewhere I wrote the array so I need to verify at 42nd line I need to write it as matrix now we will run it again yeah my left diagonal elements are 5 10 and 15 which are nothing but 5 10 and 15 and right diagonal elements are 4, 7, 10, 13. Thank you.